What's happening, people? Welcome back. You can see where we are. You probably already watched last week's Hi, vlog. Dave. Where? Hello, Thomas. Where we was down for the weekend, sort of an overall vlog of what we was doing with the event. Uh, this week's vlog is we're giving the R8 a once over. It's dirty from the drive down. It's sort of a generic, more in detail. Tom will talk for a lot of things what we do. We're going to do a bit of engine bay detailing, wheels. I've got some black trims on the side of my engine glass that are a little bit swirly so he's going to give them a bit of a going over just a more of a cleaning the car what products to use what's best what we think and things like that so we've got to give it a wet wash get the usual grime off of it and then we'll get into it and we'll get tom to talk us through a few bits as we go he's probably going to get me to do some of it as well which i'm not about that yeah okay so we'll give it a generic look over although i don't know if we'll get it on camera bugs the front is a uh, a little grimy many bugs and whatnot here the windscreen not that you're gonna see anything with this pretty battered the wheels let's have a little look at the wheels we know my thoughts on these they're not horrific once we get the dirt off so good starting base I'll try and show you what these black trims are like but it might be better with a light now we'll, we'll get a light on those to show you those and then Thomas it's cleaning my car. I'm not that busy. Oh, Saturday. Yeah. Great. Dale? No. Down to me. Thomas, it's cleaning time. Hello. What are we doing and what are we using and why? Okay, so because you're vinyl wrapped, wraps interact differently with car care products. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, there's, it's nice to colour change for you, but I know there's a protection side to the pan as well. 100%. Um, it's nice that it's not matte because that really does then Makes kick into hard. not a lot of stuff. Yeah. So nice and simple. We're going to give it a nice deep wash. I know you've driven six hours or whatever it is. 100 and 360 miles. 360 miles. Nice. So Fun. you've got your new wheels. So our ultimate all-wheel cleaner will go on first. We'll see that to start to interact with the brake dust and the iron will uh, the iron will turn purpley red and it will yep. bleed out. Well then, you do that dry with this product, so it's quite unique to other products. You spray it onto a dry wheel, the gel formula clings, and then it reacts and cleans and we rinse off. And that's my most favourite product of Maguire's. Yeah, it, it, it's I love mine, to be fair. Yeah. I might have said to you when it first came out, I think it's the best wheel cleaner on the, uh, that I'd ever used. Uh -huh, I agree. Uh, yeah. I go through it that much now, though. that's my problem. Um, it depends on when you go live with these, but these are our new brushes, our new detailing brushes. So these arrive in the UK this week coming. So the first time you've seen these... And these are just a multi-purpose... They'll... This will probably be a couple of weeks, so they'll be out by the time... Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, they'll, they'll have landed. Uh, obviously, our wheel brush in case we need to get into the intricate bits. Then we'll move on to the contact... Oh, we'll snow foam it with our ultimate snow foam so that that's... Uh, any contaminants need softening on the top. We then rinse that off and go to the contact wash with our gold class because it's nice for vinyl. It's just... It's not offering anything to it. It's not going to affect the vinyl in any way. And then we'll do some nice little bits on the black piano bits that you pointed out and yep. hopefully help you with some of the little problems that you said you've got not problems just fine tuning to make it that's exactly show worthy shiny well let's do it then shall we let's go Right, Thomas, so the car is clean. Yep. And I got rather excited about this product when you, you didn't sent me it. You believe me, did you? No, because 
The yellow one was good. Yeah. The yellow one was a, the yellow one is still a good drying towel. I have to say that because it's still available. Of course. Yeah. Um, but ev with everything in life, new technology, new systems, new methods, new things are available. So this is a duo twist. I don't know if you're going to pick it up on the towel. If you ever see one of these in the shop, it feels rough, but it's because you've got a loop. It's really hard to pick up, but the fibres are... You can't see it. Yeah, they're loop looped and twisted, so a duo twist. And what that means is if you have one fibre stood up, it's doing collecting 50% of water. You've got two twisted, it's 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes it more efficient. Who like supermarket? Come on. Shopping channel. Here we go. So I'll just do the drag, shall I? Voila. And this is the one thing that blew my mind. Most drying towels, I feel, they're good. Like that, that yellow to, one. That yeah. yellow one's good. I was saying this to Dal. You can't really use a drying towel normally where you pull it over once and it's dry. No. As where, I mean, we look at... And, and it's, a, like, it's efficient, like it's... That's what I was saying. You could dry a whole car and the towel doesn't feel wet. Yeah, we've done the whole van with one and I felt like I could have done a car after. Yes, as when normally you're halfway through a car and it's wet, like yeah. it's soaked. So it's... Yeah, go on. So I've taken from this my most favourite products, a wheel cleaner and the new drying towel. And it's a cape. That, now we're talking. I'm not going to run. <laughs> The car is clean, the car is dry, we are inside. I'm going to hoover the inside because it's a little bit dirty and messy. Then I'm going to, what am I using? You're going to use the ultimate leather detailer because the leather's in pretty good condition so it's just about maintaining it and giving it a wipe over. So you're going to hoover and do the interior. Then, I'm, then we'll move on to me doing engine bay bits. So then we'll go on to the engine. Tom's going to give it a bit of a clean. We'll use some trim restorer. Uh, the ceramic. Okay, so the ceramic trim, which I'll let Tom talk about that when we get to that. Um, because I never clean my engine bay, so while I'm here, I'm making Thomas work. Aren't we, Tom? You like working? Yeah, don't film me trying to struggle with this light. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and do my interior. I've hoovered it. Yep, the inside also. is nice and hoovered, is what I'm going to class it as. Yeah, we'll... we'll, we'll oh, I need to brighten it. this up. Oh, you look very dark, Thomas. Give me a minute. Oh, it needs to adjust. Why is it not adjusting? Oh, there he is. There he is! Right, talk to me. Um, so next for you, next job for you to do, because you've got split uh, half leather, half Alcantara, you're going to use the ultimate quick, ultimate leather detailer. Um, it's a maintenance product and because you've got reasonably new seats, you just need to maintain them. So you're going to use detailer mitt, put that on your hand. Oh. And then to minimise... <laughs> <laughs> you don't normally get put off. <laughs> <laughs> to minimise overspray and keep the job tidy, spray this onto the mitt. Thank you. And then you're going to wipe over the leather with that side, turn the mitt on your hand and just buff it with the second side. I'll leave that to you, I'm going to do the engine bay. Now on the engine, by the way, this is a first because I don't have... Were you aware that this had an engine in it? It's got an engine in it. <laughs> that, is that what that is? I wonder what that was. Uh, I don't have it in me to sit and clean and detail my engine bay like... Look at this, this is all dusty under here, Thomas. Oh, now you pointed And that now out. I've pointed that, that out, you it. have to do that bit. No, I don't, because it's yours. So I'm okay. basically here to show you our new trim restorer. So it's a part of our ceramic range that's new. This def definitely won't be out by the time you've put this. Is it not it's, out yet? It's on the way. Right, okay. It's on the way. Uh, it's good to go. If it's anyone on a boat knows somewhere. anything about anything in the world, the world is absolutely foobard. It's I'm just here to do the plastics. If you want to be detailing. Oh, so now it's been stitched up onto me. 
Hey, it's your car. Okay. I'm helping. So hit me. What? Talk me through it. What are we doing? So whilst you were doing inside, a very good job, by the way. Thank you. Excellent. I was drying this down from the wash, and I'm literally now just gonna give it a rub. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight over the badges. And this is, I'm gonna say, basically a restorer. So it, so it brings the, back, the black plastics back up to where they... Yeah, it's so got Restora. Good, uh, it shows good 50-50 there as well. It says Restora on the name, but let's face it. Anything that is, it's offering life back into it and coating it, but then nothing but dressings. So if yep. you've got a piece of plastic that is, should be black and it's now grey or white... It'll make it look pretty. It'll make it look pretty, but it's not going to stop the white. Of course, yep being white so yeah so that's it i'm just going to go around here if you need to wipe any excess off you do but we don't because it's quite a new plastic so we're just onto a microfiber towel you can see it's lifting a bit of grime i'll do the rest of it it's a good job i'm nice and tall and this car's not and it's, it's they really thought about everyone working on the engine bay when they put access, it where they use yeah that does make a massive difference though when you look at the middle part compared to the two engine boxes uh, engine boxes engine boxes engine air engine. boxes i should say it's a really big difference. Yeah. So. The engine bay is all now restored slash trim dressed. And now we're gonna, Tom's just gone to get a new light product that we're gonna show. We're gonna light these up and maybe give these a quick hit because I'm pretty sure they've got a few little marks in them. So we're gonna see what Stay we can do. We oh, we're going live and direct. Oh, they have. You reckon you can work some magic with that, Thomas? Yeah, I think so, mate. Let's uh, just change the... Uh... Oh, yes, you can definitely see. What are you using, though? So this is our MT-103. It's a, a Scanny Grip unique light to us that has... Um, it's, it's very similar to a Scan Grip light, so it's an on-off feature. But Scan Grip resets its setting every time, so this is just a push and hold, and it will go through all the lumens on the lights, as you can see it changing and you push it again and hold and it'll go through the light range. So, But most importantly, it remembers the setting that you prefer, so. In simple terms, it can go from warm and, white to cool white. And, and it's magnetic. Magnetic, so it's all fully functional and workable. So um, am I right in saying that people will now able to be able to buy these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so yep. it's a product on the market. This is a product that's available and as you can see, it's nice for uh, just doing this. I don't and we are done, so it, the cars, as you all know, it's already fr pretty freshly wrapped. So, because it's wrapped, we don't we don't need to machine it. Because I'm not trusted to look after my paint, Thomas. So, this is what we have to deal with. This is why I only come and see them every few years. Stop with the bonnet, because I've not told anyone about the bonnet yet. No, it's a bug. Anyway. We're done, so we've given it the once over from my 360 mile drive down. <sighs> okay, I've got a chip on my bonnet that appeared a few days ago. Unfortunately for Kev, I'm sorry Kev, the bonnet needs rewrapping and I know it was a bit of a pain. Anyway, big thank you to Thomas who'd done most of the cleaning today because I got myself out of it. The car looks very good. We're ready for the taco day tomorrow. And that is about it. We're gonna throw in a few uh, nice, cinematic shots that thankful grant has filmed for me other than that let me know what you think of the video if it was any benefit to you with tom talking you through the products enjoy the clips i'll see you in the next video peace